battery dead? No. Today is uh, Saturday. It uh, snowed last night here at the farm, so first thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, head down to the shop and get the tractor fired up and get that warmed up and then get, uh, get some things plowed out here around the farm. Good morning, Stella. Hey, Stella. Hey. Hey, how you doing? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's hope this uh, tractor starts this morning. It's about eight degrees and we did not plug it in. All right, well that went okay. We're gonna give this thing about 10 minutes to uh, warm up and get all the fluids and everything warmed up. Some of you may be wondering, why am I using a bucket? I should get myself a proper blade. Uh, this morning, we don't have a whole ton of snow. We don't have a large area. When I have a bigger area, I actually have a blade that mounts on the front. But uh, that's only when we get like a lot of snow and we've got to do the parking lot and all of that. This, we just need to get the driveway opened up so we can uh, park the car. Uh, park people, park the basic cars for employees. We don't have to worry a whole lot about uh, opening up a big area. We don't have any events coming up in the near future and it's pointless to just go and plow snow for the sake of plowing snow. Let me let her back inside. She's not a huge fan of the tractor around here. It's actually pretty easy snow to plow. There's uh, ground's really frozen. It's light, fluffy stuff. There's not a lot of it. set the blade down and not have to worry about if it's digging in or rutting things or scraping gravel off into the grass. out today but today what we've got to do is we've got these mirrors that need to be fixed uh, we've got a lot of really good employees but uh, things just happen sometimes and so we take these ice cream trucks out hundreds and hundreds of stops this last summer so they got to a lot of different places some of them tight some of them close uh, we do training with our drivers to make sure they're 
familiar and comfortable with the uh, with the trucks and we try and put as much uh, so like we have backup cameras and things that work for the most part so like there's one there's one on either side of the trucks there's one in the back um, but from time to time you just get close to things and you still end up hitting things or like this one this actually didn't hit anything what happened here was just closed the door one day and the glue came loose and and that was it so we finally got some replacement mirrors here so we need to take this just a couple simple bolts on bolts here All right, so after reading the instructions, what I figured out that uh, I've got to take a few screws here out and then put in the new mounting piece and then put it all back together. So this truck is, I think, two, new, two years newer than the other one and uh, it has these different style mirrors on it they're all plastic and i tell you why couldn't they just leave the ones the way they were as metal ones one bolt instead this is six different pieces of plastic in here and three little screws this is somehow supposed to be progress. Uh, great. What I've managed to do here is strip the screw out, so. Oh, well that's great. We busted off the screw. Hmm. We're gonna go ahead and just mount this with these two screws and see if that does the trick. it it sure doesn't seem like a whole lot holding everything down but it's just a little plastic piece that pops in there and a little retainer strip on the top and that's it so well we'll see how that goes and we'll see if that works for down the road we constantly get a lot of questions about what do we do here during the winter well what's ended up happening here in the last couple of years is the farm and everything's grown so much. We have all these visitors that come out during the fall. We're still doing some weddings. We do a lot of uh, ice cream stops. We've got two ice cream trucks. We're making ice cream. And uh, it's a lot of the people that come in are high schoolers and seasonal people. There's actually only uh, three of us that work full time year round. Otherwise, everybody else. And we'll have 60 to 70 other uh, seasonal part time. Uh, people and those are actually who a lot of you see there's a lot of uh, the the scoopers and the ice cream trucks the tractor drivers the people that you interact with during the wedding that's a lot of those people are just you know part-time part-time workers so we're always looking for ways to as we grow and grow we're looking for ways to uh, keep communication simple uh, keep things going smoothly so that way when you guys come out and when you come to the truck you can have the the best experience possible so one thing that uh, I'm working on quite a bit this winter is uh, binders. 
binders for literally everything. And over here we've got a whole box more so to, to create more binders so that uh, uh, a lot of processes, a lot of things that what we're doing so that way uh, when the, the staff that maybe doesn't work the truck all the time they can be just as informed as those that uh, are working with us every day, day in, day out. So, so yeah, hopefully uh, this will be the first video. I want to do more of these. I want to keep giving you guys a behind the scenes look at sort of what we do, how we operate. It's it's not always uh, pretty. I mean, as you can see, we've been in our office here. It's behind the scenes stuff. It's Things are kind of messy, but it is what it is. And uh, uh, we're excited to show it with you. And so, um, you know, that's, that's about all I got for today. Wrap this video up. And uh, I am going to work this afternoon, but that's stuff uh, sitting at my computer that maybe isn't as exciting that's pouring over spreadsheets and going through some financial stuff and, and looking at some of that stuff. So outside of that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.